Y'all, oh, peace. It's Manny Tega. I'm gonna be throwing down some uh, tips. Um, for one, y'all go ahead and like, subscribe on this video. Um, and go ahead and type thank y'all in the in the com thank you in the comment section. Anybody who you feel like could teach you something, say thank you to them. Gratitude. But with these uh with these right here um like we was doing on them yesterday, basically twist and rip. So every time I've been in front front of the mirror, I gave them a little twist. But after you leave them alone for a little while, they're not gonna be as tightly rolled up. And, you know, they're going to be loose, but they're going to be knotted a little better, you know. And again, it's as simple as, you know, letting your mane grow out. And then, um, like we started out, section out two pieces, twisting in them clockwise, both of them, and then twisting those clockwise and then twisting and rip them and then stay to it you know what i'm saying because these came out these on the sides but i stayed to it you know what i'm saying i actually had to twist both of them back up and put them back in there and i'm gonna have to keep on staying to it and then you know dry locks the best um and also once you twist them again and again even after they uh the first time you're gonna want to do it when they're wet or sort of wet get them all done even if it dries out, that's why probably why these fell out. Cause I done them after they had dried out. I done these first, then these dry, and then I tried them. But uh, if you do it all wet, and then take you about three to five days where you're not really showering it, you know, for real. And then after that fifth day, it should be locked up real good after you've been reinstating it. All it takes is to reinstate it. Is uh, see that one has a little knot in it. All those got some. Feels like there's a little knot down in the end of them after I twisted them. So we're going to work on this one today. So just twist it and rip it. And one thing is, after it's dry, you can sometimes give it a real tight one. And how we was twisting out whenever we was twisting and ripping and getting it real tight last time like this, then the same thing we're going to do is we're going to, uh, whenever we are rolling our hair up into little twists, we're going to push up you know, on those ends and that way it's going to lock them, but make sure you're going clockwise, you know, in the same way that whenever we are uh, twisting like this, we are pulling and that way you're pushing up. That way you're going to lock your ends a little bit better. And it's even technique to somebody who's doing somebody's hair. You know, I, I guarantee, you know, I just found it out right here. I'm creative. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you got those little like firm little pieces down at the ends of them, you know, that they're pretty good, but just reinstate them. So, you know, just reinstating all of them is just a twist or or just do tw two twists and then pull. And you can, you know, rip, you know, that's what the name twist and rip is. You know, you can pull them and then you can pull them tight. And your hair is going to be like ropey. And if you really think about it, growing out ropey hair is going to be way better. Because if you ever did decide to cut, you know, or whatever, you got like this, like, hair consistency you got this hair consistency that's like rope <laughs> you got this hair consistency consistency so it's kind of just that simple you know um and then whenever you twist them another thing you can do what i do is get them wet after that three to five days and then um as soon as you get out you know just twist and rip them up um, they might be loose, like real loose. You know what I'm saying? You might have to put in some work. You know, it might just look like the same thing. But after you do that and do that again, it's going to consistency and persistency is the key to success. You know, just make sure you're keeping that clockwise because once you do go clockwise, counterclockwise is going to outdo it. And that's the problem with my last set. I was twisting all of them like that, you know, like twist, 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 but it's clockwise. You got to go clockwise with it. You got to. Um, <laughs> maybe on the other hemisphere on the, of the earth that's a uh, a thought to think about but twist them and rip them reinstate them um and then you can kind of make them even like i tried to make these as even you know i, I think one side just to the other side but it's not going to end up really mattering you know at all um with my hair you know i thought about twisting and ripping that but you see how it's getting these curls in it um and it's curling like that that actually is going to help out um, with like without like oil, keeping oil in my hair. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I could enjoy the process of just locking it up. And then my hair, you know, it was it was looking cool. I'd like to say something about it. It was looking cool yesterday, like bluish. 
tent, you know, but I think I pulled my hair up. And, uh, my face is so wet. So the hair, you know, oh, it felt like whenever I'd done that, it felt like I just got a dose of energy through the back of my head. If y'all didn't know already, I hit the back of my head on the concrete and I, I like to shave my eyebrows right now. It just feels a little bit better when I have my eyebrows shaved for some reason. Um, and, you know, I feel I feel like I can just vibe with myself, you know. And I tuck my hair behind my ears sometimes. I throw it up in a bandana. There's another thing I'd like to show y'all real quick. If y'all are still tuned, if y'all staying tuned, this bandana, you can do a lot of things with it for real. I'm being serious. Uh, I'm just, I'm just chilling, trying to talk while I get this bandana undone. But basically, you know, roll your bandana up however you'd like it. You can put it on your head and um, when my hair is getting longer, it's kind of harder to do that. What I was doing where I was pushing up on the ears um, and it honestly is easier to do with eyelashes, you know, with uh, eyebrows. So that's the thing, you know, if you're going for this style right here where you just got it, you got the bandana on like this or maybe a little thicker, you know. Um, and you can do it like that and just get that hole and you know and one thing you can think about you can see a layer of red if you hang it real low but if you um got it like that and you know try to hang it high uh you can do that and, and do it yourself but the main thing is whenever you got these ends you know you can even take two bandanas and tie them end to end where you kind of got like a triangle and can slip it on and it's like two of them but this is folded and it's all tied up and you got two of them kind of uh, something like that or fold the bandana just on one corner and you know uh you could do that you know this one right here we done this one where you just fold it up and then try to give it a good tie you know and try to get underneath the hair that that's really what you do when you get the long hair you just try to get underneath it because and something that's going to get your hair long is washing naturally baking soda and things your hair is a plant um your hair is a plant so grow it and you know grow it w with natural you know take in natural and use natural products there's lots of ways you can just google uh natural ways to wash your hair but i like getting out behind the ears and really just getting out behind the uh the hair and holding it up tucking it with your thumb and leaning your hair going as far to lean your head down and going vertical to get underneath it and um just try to try to put the cloth on it and if you kind of get some hair maybe you can fool around to pull it out but that's like a cool thing and if you'd like to get it uh going straight you probably can grab that point and roll it up just bear with me and you know i hadn't done this look in a while um and if you can you know you get it tighter or tuck that behind your ears or whatever it look it looks pretty sick you know <laughs> it looks pretty good you know and that's just one way to wear your bandana um but the other way was to do the same taking tucking technique with either um either going like well this is a good with shaved eyebrows this is a good one to do you roll up your bandana and then um kind of get it tight right there above the eyebrows go behind the head behind the ears lean over is basically the only way to do it Lean over is basically the only way to do it and then hold that knot and kind of push it around your ears. Get it out of your eyes if you wouldn't like it there. Um, you know, <laughs> really, if you get a straighter bandana, you could sit it on table and fold it and then like run your hand across it and press it down and get a cleaner straight bandana. For some reason, I keep on <laughs> coming up with the, coming with these bandanas, but you can get it straight um like that you know 
and you can tuck anything, anything like if you got any type of hat or scarf or something that you're trying to tie on your head, you could tuck an end underneath it once it's tied tight around your head, and it'll kind of hold like however, you know what I'm saying? And then that's going to have your hair holding up. But the best part about this is whenever you got that heat underneath your hair, you just push that thing up. Like, for real. My hair, my hair was knotted in it, but like you see, you push it up high. And then um, it's very comforting. You know, you could do this all the way up to your scalp and then just push that. Like, for real, I showed y'all last time. I could do a handstand, and this shit's not going to fall off my head. I showed y'all this hairstyle. But the new thing is just whenever you get it up like this, tuck the ends, you know, leave this. I seen this on um what's it? The free freeform dreadlock um not nation uh channel and he was talking about this this man had his uh hairstyle like in you know one Congo dread on top of his head he had a little ponytail knot. And he was saying that he had to recover him. I made a video about this. I was saying, recover him, shit. That's like the best, best like hair, hairstyle you can get. <laughs> and then like you know, just push that shit back. And eventually, if you want to tie it up, you can tie it up in a knot. Just tuck your hair, and you can do this wider with them folds. Uh, we'll probably talk about it. But there's a lot of things you can really tuck it too. There's a lot of things you can do. Um, and then that hairstyle, you know, you're just chilling. That back's probably like coming out like on everything. And you can take that and just do something. Do something. Y'all might be able to see a glimpse of that dang one lock I got in the back. And then, you know, you just keep your stuff. You know what I'm saying? You keep your stuff. Uh, but, like, you see how I got this straight straight on the jawline? That's how you're going to uh, like be liking your locks. You're not going to be liking one down underneath your neck or one down off in here like a, a comb shape like you can do in your hair because your hair is so thick. I could take something that small and lock it, you know, I could take a little box and lock it. You know what I'm saying? Even me touching that right there makes it like a little box, you know, you can tell I haven't been brushing my hair like on anything. I haven't been brushing it. So you can get that lock, like, and maybe you can kind of like mold it together, you know, with your fingers as it's uh, knotting up. And you get that crown, you know, knotted. And uh, honestly, now I think about it, if you just had a big wick that somehow grew out as a crown and this middle part didn't grow anything, that might be the best way to go about it. Because the whenever it's all thick, where's its um, foundation, you know? Imagine, imagine like this is a thought I had. Imagine you just, uh, and this is just me throwing my hair up or whatever. Imagine you had that big Congo wick on top of your head or all your locks were locked up in your in your hair. They're going up and dr draws into your head. It's all locked up. And then you got the um, the serpents, the inner cross. You got the serpents that, that cross and then uh, the staff. And you put that, somehow get somebody to weave it into your hair, you know, and then um, have it where it's like a hat and it holds your hair up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're down into your beard if your beard's locked up and then it's going to grow around it or something. <laughs> or, you know, like a head headgear to wear your dreads, like wear them straight up, <laughs> growing straight. That's why that's why that little hairstyle right there is is what uh, I was rocking today. I like it. Um, but if your hair grows thin locks or whatever, you know, or thick Congos, just let it lock up. Just let it lock up. For real, um, words of not nation, you know, <laughs> that's let that lock up, you know, so like whatever, but this is a pretty cool, it's like a pretty cool looking look. If you tuck everything in and then with these right here, you know, you, if you got those little knots, that's what I was saying. It's like a little ball knot It's hard and it's at the end of the locks. I think that might be a good sign of something I, I've been thinking, or you might just like try to work with them, but they're probably not going to lock up, lock up with this type of hair, you know, because whenever I grabbed these, they look like they were in a, a section down here because it was so thick. I just grabbed a little bit of it. I hadn't been brushing. I just grabbed a little bit and pulled it out. But we were saying, you know, this area right here might be good if you grow your mustache out. My mustache would be down in here if I didn't cut it and trim it. So, you know, if you're really watching out for those apples because you're going to bite it, it's not even going to make a, uh, a difference if it splits. 
you know. So you could do that just like that. You might pull out them uh what whiskers, whiskers to get your mustache you know locked up into your uh these more whiskers. If you can get all that going up, we was talking about getting it in the hair. You wear that as jewelry if you want to show off. Just lock it into your hair and then it'll be like flared out. Like that's that's the idea. What? Right there. I'm making a video, Mama. Yeah. Yeah, I got my table. Oh, I put every, I put it back there. Okay. We do it started in the morning. You'll get up early, okay? You want to cut one? No, in the morning. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Mama, I'll just chill out for for like a couple weeks. I think them solar flares are coming out. I encourage you to live a healthy life and drink more water. Water. That's that's synchronicity. So y'all, I got it. Um this thing right here, you can do a couple more things with it. You can do a lot of things, and we're gonna have a whole nother video about what you what you can do with these things as I'm finding it out. And we're gonna have some style shit too. Um, like you can throw something around your shoulder, not necessarily this bandana. Well, you could put the bandana because it's it's red. Red's a real grounding color, but with your hair, you could just wear it down. But um, this thing would be cool if it could get tight. You know, if you could tie it up. Folk don't know how to tie their hair up. All it is, you guys, you know, is just. Put your hands like cup, you know, cup your head, grab, you know, once and then go at a different angle and grab the rest of it and cup it. And then, you know, take your your little um, tie, you hold it with one hand, you know, put a little grip on it and take your tie and tie it around it, you know, wherever you're going to be um, tying your hair up at and grab that tie. And stretch it out around your hair. And then tuck your hair through it. Tuck your hair like through the tie, you know, per se. You got a tie stretched out. Well, pull the hair and tuck it. Oh, man. See, that's like instances me trying to hold my hair, like tie it up. You know, it's, it's no telling what you could do with a bandana. You could take it like this and pull it up on your hair. Make sure the bottom's going back. And then, you know, twist it up so it's like a little tie. And just tie everything in. You know, this is the first time I'm ever doing this one. See, it's experimental with everything. And we should, we're very creative. We should just be having fun. See, this is the time that it has to come into a knot. And we're going to make this go around this. Oh, man, this is just give me bear with me uh, one moment uh, as I get this tied up. You're going to have to have some level of skill to do this because I just tied that around me. Um, and again, we got the, the point, you know, and then with these points, you could just take them in a sense and tuck them up. And like that. And then you could just wear your hair up like that. And that's a new way, you know, that I just found out, you know. And then you could wear it out like that, flare it out or whatever. Um, And then, you know, like I was just saying, them, them knots after you've been working with them, once you tie them up real tight, they're going to be twisted up super tight. And you're not going to be able to get another twist and rip in them because your finger is going to be hurting. But see how these just been sitting and I can twist them up. Um, and I could just try to, you know, really twist hard, you know, um, and more so check out Dr. Sebi and check out Nikola Tesla, um, research them and make sure you know about them because they're important figures in uh, our story and, you know, and for important, um, you know, innovative folk. And it, it's good to know that type of folk, you know, and especially, you know, if you, 
if you see them as successful, you know, doing something, you know, working, working, trying to do uh, their passions, you know, to some level and then go support that, you know, your knowledge and researching them. So that's another way to wear it. And another thing is after, well, if you get your hair tied up in your beard or whatever, try to pull on both ends or pull it out or whatever. Um, the main thing with losing hair is like, if you get that stuff tightened up so tight, um, like if you're braiding it, you know, I was going to show y'all last time I was at the skate park, I braided my hair. I didn't, I didn't even braid it. I just, my head was like feeling weird. So I tried to take three strands and then keep on grabbing more hair and then do like a French braid backwards. That might be another hairstyle because you could do a French braid backwards and then get these areas around your crown to fluff up. If you get that stuff to lock up, you might not even wash it out. And then you're going to be trying to hold that thing, you know, especially if you're not brushing your hair anyway. Just tell them you want, you would like some type of French braid, you know, with the, around your crown, like a, the crown of your head braced out. And then you're going to have um, it coming from the back into the, the front. You know, and your hair might have to be a little long. And if anything, you could braid it back, uh, you know, back into it around the crown. And uh, like we were saying, the snake and the staff could go through your locks or whatever. You know, you could just get a designer to design something, you know, a lightweight frame or something, uh, bedazzling gold or whatever. And just uh, ride that snake out on top of your head. And the beard, you know, going down. Another thing is you got your chest energy. You got so much energy in your heart chakra. And then if you got this, um, if you got this beard going down, you got the heart chakra energy, the throat chakra energy is getting more bonded into these bonds. You know, unity is power, you know, it's getting united up, bonded. And then your hair too, you know, I like, you could just throw the top part up if it's this long and you could throw the bottom part up. And, you know, just do your ponytail. It's basically like this motion where you cup up, you hold it with one hand, you grab your ponytail, you go from underneath it, you grab it, and that's going to be tight. Then you give that a twist, go back underneath the hair, but not underneath the clip. Or you could go underneath the, the hairband and then you pull the hair through. And if your hair is real thick, you could just pull that little um bit of hair out and it's just going to be folded over. Then you can situate it where it's facing down or facing up to where it kind of folds out. Uh, we'll be talking about more about that and uh, whatever, or, you know, like um, what type of makeup you should use and like, you know, all that stuff, uh, you know, because we really shouldn't, we really, you know, you should really look into those folk, you know, and, and do that research and message me on Manny Tega if you got any questions, you know, like do your due diligent research. But these bandanas, it just starts out the way I like to use them, you know. So most of the time is take the back part. You know, we didn't really show y'all this, but this is the easy one to do. Go out from underneath. Even if you got like a long mane, you could tuck it underneath um, and then kind of, you know, make sure it's twisted up. Or if you just leave a lot of it back there, you know, let's say it's a little bit less tucked up and, um, but you can do it as much as consistency as you like. Then you're going to like pull that and right up to your scalp. Just about do it about as tight as you can get because um, you're just going to come back at it. Uh, or for this instance, you know, you just go at it like that. Push your how, however, you know, um, push that up you know, tighten that real good, tuck your hair in it, if, you know, that's another thing I found out, you might be able to tuck your hair in it, and this thing won't all fall off your head, watch me do a handstand with it, y'all see me, I'm just gonna do like a handstand, and it ain't nothing, it didn't fall off my head, it's on there, I could even push it up heavier, I could push it up like that, you know, and then, in a sense, you might have the back part falling out. You know, in a sense, you might have the back. That's why you tighten it tight. And if I do another handstand, it might fall off my head, but it might not. It might.
you might be able to last the first wave. And also, if you wear your bandana like that and stuff, you might get it uh, tightened up, you know. It might be broadened up, you know, like that. Um, and you could just leave it to stay because that, that kind of is just floating. Um, and if you had it growing out the top of your head, I think, you know, it'd be off your neck pretty good. Uh, if anything, it might run down and hit you or hit you or something. You know what I'm saying? But make sure you're eating a healthy lifestyle, uh, living a healthy lifestyle. Um, check out my other videos. Check out the links below. I feel like, you know, you follow that. Um, just get out of dogma and start living progma. Uh, start living in progma, you know. Um, so, more so, you can um, do put this thing like... Any any type of way, you know, you might wear it like this. I forgot about this this way. I just done it. Um, and you can tie multiple of them together and maybe make you a scarf or whatever. You can wear it like that, you know, and rock that for a moment. And you could, you probably probably could pull this over, you know, rock it like that, you know, flare your hair out, you know. You can put the back in a bun. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next episode. I'm making a video. I'm making a video. Well, I'll let y'all go. I'm going to grab my glasses. Get you some blue light blocking glasses and drink spring water. <coughs> Follow Philip Pat Minerals on Instagram. And tell him you were sent by Manny Tega. Yeah, tell him you were sent by Manny Tago. <laughs> and we put this fence in on the garden, so we got some garden updates. Um, even more to go. And we'll, after that, we got forage in it. It's unlimited supply, so make sure you subscribe. <laughs> make sure you're subscribed and put the notification bell on. And make sure you're unsubscribed to Dogma. And start stepping in, you know, the the truth of not knowing. You heard me there, right? We got to go slow motion on there. Stop stop believing in dogma and start getting into the truth of not knowing. Well, you hit me with a saw in the morning. I mean, when we get ready to in two weeks, you say it. And we're going to do something. But we got these solar rays coming out. Let's give a quick weather update. Got North Mississippi. Got looks like some rain's going to come in. Got the garden, um, it's getting hardy because there's not a lot of water coming in, uh, here recently. And there's been a lot of pollution with all the gas, uh, lean powered cars and all the petroleum based products, um, that are causing cancer along with, you know, 5G radiation, which is, which is over exceeding, uh, the healthy boundaries of radiation and more so. More so, you know, with that, uh, we have to start overseeing and, and overstanding so that we can speak out on and silent is consent. So if you're silent, you're, you're not speaking out on what's going on. Um, but yeah, you know, what's going on is there's a corrupt, um, Babylonian system and they're, you know, getting caught for traffic, child traffic and, human traffic and you have to um really be discerning in this time you should not watch the tail eye vision or um we should unite you know even with the cell phone and the cell towers he he kind of thrown right in front of our face they're attacking us on a cellular level you know if you break these words apart you know none of this stuff really if you break it down really deep 
everything you know the cabal is the reflection of the masses or the the um you know and then you know collectively we have our shadow and then internally we have our shadow and we're all facing these shadows and we're all purging these shadows and everything's just you know coming back it's the age of aquarius so we have a totally new age that has come upon you know our ancestors knew about astrology and um you know depicted these astrological calendars and on that calendar we this is 2012 so this is year 2012 and uh you know not not going by gregorian time or whatever you know whatever uh was created by man because everything that they have created now causes cancer again petroleum based if you look around you uh there's going to be mainly everything got something petroleum based and that's uh, carcinogenic. Um, burning is the most carcinogenic thing known to man. Uh, it releases the most carcinogenic chemical known to known to humans, according to you know, uh, you know my searches. Uh, again, you don't believe in what I say. Just do your own research and back up. Do your own due diligence. But you know, uh, that's what what I got to say. Um, and even more so, you know, there's fl- drones flying over the sky at night over me, and there's um all this like you know pollution that's been going on petroleum based uh you know and you can look at the source issue or you can be a sheeple you know you really uh you know there's more so you know if you're it's no level of sanity to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society so um go look up dr sebi and nikola tesla and um Follow those folk below, you know, follow those folk below and ask me and start living your best life, you know, ask me questions, you know, it's better to ask. Also, if you're doing something, you know, we'll talk about it, you know, but it's better to ask as there's 7 billion folk in the world. If you don't ask, then you're, you're just a number, you know, uh, so make sure to ask and that's just with like your work and we'll be talking about more business stuff, um, and everything and you know i really would like y'all to tag along with me and become y'all's best version and become you know everything that you are you know you just have to lose all belief systems all dogma all thought form you know this language is not the language of the natives you know we don't have to stop reacting to thought we have to ask ourselves whose thoughts are these and we really have to purge all you know things now's the time you know for us like millennials to let go of our ego um and for everybody, you know, to let go of your ego, you know, it's not a human, it's not multiple human races, one human race. And it's, it's all of us, you know, it's the animals. It, we're all humane as humans, you know, um, all highly evolved, all highly intelligent beings, all deserve life. Uh, and whenever these liberties, whenever these rights got, you know, kind of taken away from us and the natives were raped and pillaged, um, anybody who's working for that system instantly become tyrants after the fact that they're not pertaining to arrest these individuals who are doing child sex trafficking, uh, called on multiple occasions, doing pedophilia, uh, you know, friends of, of, you know, mass corporation presidents are being caught with, um, you know, being, uh, friends with folk that are, you know, doing child or doing tra- sex trafficking and more so over and, um, and child sacrificing and it's really just to the point where you know it's a new age everything's coming to light and all that's just a reflection that we're purging and um you have to focus on yourself because everything's within yourself know thyself that's why the egyptians written know thyself and uh you know use nikola tesla 369 if you'd like to comprehend the universe think in terms of universe frequency energy vibration that's the uh in terms of the universe 369 is this symbol this mantra ancient mantra you can do it during meditation and om calls energy into you 369 is infinite knowledge and you know more so there's just more to be learned and there's just more to be experienced to life we're we're really all powerful beings all powerful sending beings and we were sent here um you know, to raise the vibration of earth. So we're infinite spiritual beings sent here to raise the vibration of earth. And I'll see y'all on the next episode. Thank y'all for checking out this. Peace. It's Manny Tega. One love.